Hi everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 2 of Disney Villains Cuera de Vil. Now as you know, yeah, the Disney Villain series is meant to do a different take, either set during some events, or sometime before or after a story. Some of which I have reviewed is Disney Villain Scar, Hades, and also doing Cuera de Vil, which is meant to take place after the first film, after the whole Dalmatian kidnap, and Cuera de Vil trying to rebuild her reputation. And let's get on with the story. It starts off with the aftermaths from the last issue, after Cuera's party became a complete disaster. And we see how, yeah, how Jeffries' owners basically listening to the BBC News, and we see him saying, Oh, bother. Uh, sorry, Jeffries. Drop with the morning to you, dear readers. It seems we've acquired your interest is still here. And we see how he points out, yeah, the aftermaths of the whole party, and that Quirra de Vil is going to get a taste of her own medicine. And we see how Archibald has to deal with the leftovers of the party. And we see how, yeah, Cora de Deville's furious that the party ended in a complete disaster. And we see her saying, It certainly has been bad press. The youth is pouring out of me, Archibald. Look at this face. Res respectively, appear not a day older than twenty. You admire, you mind to uplift me with flattery? Nothing but the truth. And we see how he points out about the auction that she has to do with some of her clothes. And we see how Archibald gives Cora the keys to go to her, her sort of room. And we see how, yeah, Cora Deville has to go through all of her belongings. And having to decide what to throw away, keep, or put into the maybe pile. And this is like trying to get rid of what you can after having so many clothes. But unlike most people... Yeah, Cuera de Vil kind of wants to keep almost all of them, not kind of realising how much he has to kind of get rid of. So we see how, yeah, the door answers, Archibald is being too busy with the, with the, the sort of radio, and Cuera de Vil saying, The blooming doorbell's ringing! And we see how, yeah, she answers the door, sees it's a cute little dog, and says, This what? Beat it, you pesky rat! Oh, precious little darling! Oh! And we see how, yeah, the dog escapes. And we see how, yeah, the door answers again. And it's two delivery people saying, Oh, uh, I'll have a delivery for Cuera de Vil! Oh, hello there. Yes, this is he. Do come in. Lad, bring the crying dolls! And this is for you as well. Oh, dear. Mind the rugs, please. They're made out of luxurious wool. And we see how, yeah, after reading the sort of letter and Archibald coming in, turns out they're actually goats. And of course, they want to kind of, kind of get rid of them to call, not cause any problems. So, of course, the letter's from someone called Emily B. And we see how, yeah, Quora tries to get Archibald to sort out the mess. And yeah, even has the sort of clothes that he needs to sort of take care of. So yeah, Archibald's left dealing with the goats and setting up the events for the sort of auction, which is in a place called Bloombury House. So of course, Cora has to kind of do this big important press thing and kind of doing this big auction to save her reputation. And yeah, Archibald gives her the sort of pages for the speech. And we see how as soon as she reads them, she points out that all the money in that will go to animal sort of charities and all that. So after one of the goats sneak in, we see how Archibald and even Cora see that the goats escaped. And they wonder how it got out of the house. And Cora sees to her shock that Archibald basically bought all of her clothes. But yeah, due to Archibald not having clear instructions... He, it wasn't made clear by Cuella what was meant to be kept and what wasn't. And we see him saying, You didn't provide clear instructions, so I presumed. You presumed was incorrect. 
and we see how, yeah, the auction goes wrong with the stuff being kind of um, eaten by the goats, and we do kind of see how, yeah, everyone's kind of surprised by the sort of display, and we see how a young woman says, This is pure genius! Oh, Auntie Great, I am from Paris, and this is the type of fashion order starting to come on the stage. And we kind of see how, yeah, to make it look quite, quite fashionable. And we see how, yeah, everyone starts bidding. And this is where Carrera meets someone called Emily Bezer, saying, Emily Bezer, from the looks of things, it would appear that you received my gift, which is meant to be goats. So, hinting more of a story behind Carrera and Emily. So... This is pretty much the story. So I think issue 2 of Disney Villains Quora is pretty readable. Because yeah, it's quite clear that Quora will do anything she can to repair her damaged reputation. But yeah, anytime it works, it will always backfire. And I think it's like that instant karma. Like yeah, just because Quora thinks throwing money, trying to, trying to butter up society is going to work. Even though in real life, that's never going to happen. Because once your reputation, your legacy and that is damaged, it will usually be beyond repair. And people will find it hard to trust, forgive, or even see you in a positive light again. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good. And still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here. Signing out.